Welcome to STIW 2043 or 2044 mobile programming. So today I'm going to talk about layout. So when you create new project in Android Studio by default you're going to get constraint layout as the default layout. Constraint layout is good. You can use this uh, to place your component using all the constraint however when you have quite a number of component in your layout you might get a little bit overwhelmed with um, constraints and you might have trouble um, managing your constraint and sometimes the output uh, on different screen sizes uh, you might get uh, misplaced so uh, this constraint layout also of course better than relative layout uh, in terms of the component placement on, on, on the layout but it's still for me not um, stable enough um, so if you are having trouble with a constraint layout you might want to consider using linear layout as your main layout but again this is all based on your layout so you need to draw you need to design first your layout and make sure that your layout can can be suited for uh, linear layout so here I'm going to show you how to change your main layout here into the constraint layout into linear layout so it's quite easy so the first thing that you need to do is to clear your layout and then you need to go to the uh, the text of the layout and you need to change the main layout here into linear layout that's it okay so you just change the main layout of your uh, layout into the linear layout so the tag here now belong to the linear layout and all the properties here also linear layout so when you go back to the design now your components component tree will show linear layout as the main layout so the basic layout here is the uh, horizontal so as linear layout uh, there are two type of uh, orientation uh, you can have horizontal or a vertical horizontal means that your layout is going to be arranged in a horizontal horizontal to the layout okay so to the right um, as a vertical your component is going to be arranged in a vertical order okay so uh, one two three four five so that basically how the orientation is going to be for vertical so if I add one component into the layout you can see that the layout is being arranged in what we call as the uh, vertical order however if you want to have your component move to the right so you need to use what we call as sub layout so you need to sub the layout and you need to use linear layout horizontal uh, as what we call as a child layout to the parent layout of a vertical so you need to drag and put it inside your layout so this is going to host your component and change your layout uh, head to wrap content and you can add whatever component that you like to have in your sub layout so it, it is better for you to add into the component tree so let's say i want to add this one um I'm going to have one button inside here okay so now you can see and then i'm going to have another let's say i'm going to have another um, let's say another button inside here so there's three component inside this uh, horizontal uh, linear layout Okay, so now you can see that um, the way component move to the right uh, inside the sub layout uh, linear horizontal. 
so if you try to get this to run Okay, so you can see the component buttons in linear layout uh, vertical and this is uh, in linear layout horizontal okay so you can have buttons here and buttons here um, however you might have trouble if you have uh, multiple uh, sub linear layout so for example for the sake of the uh, demonstration here so I'm going to have another I'm just going to copy and paste this into linear layout so I'm going to exactly I'm going to have another same component here and I make sure that you change your um, the linear layout head to wrap content means that it wrap the content okay so if I try to view this on a different screen sizes, uh, let's say on 4 inch, 3.7 inch, okay, it seems that uh, the component stable enough to align itself. But if you want to make sure that the component, all of these components align okay, with each other, so you might want to have, you might want to put further control into uh, the layout so you because i copied copy the codes so you might have this uh, problem uh, of the id so you might change to nine uh, button like say button no oh, maybe i can just delete this first okay, i'm going to delete this first okay so i'm going to stay with this so i want to introduce the use of what we call as uh, weak distribution okay so the main and uh, the layout here this layout here the sub layout go to xml and you can see that there are three components inside so you can basically control the behavior um, through the use of what we call as the weight distribution so the the the, the parent of these three component is this so you want to add what we call as one um, tag here called the wake sum. So the wake sum for the layout is let's say we put it as one. Okay, so the distribution of wake here can be divided uh, equally by using what we call as the wake distribution. Okay, so when you have this, you can see, I need to add the content, sorry, this one also you need to, some button, this one button, this one is button also, ah, 0 0.3. Okay, so now you can see that each of the component evenly uh, distributed in this uh, layout so 0 sorry 0 0.33 much more accurate the value when you sum up to 10 uh, sorry to 1 okay so you can see that uh, the distribution equally uh, automatically arrange uh, in the layout equally so you want to change the distribution you can just change let's say this one 0 0.2 this one 0 0.4 and this one is 0 0.4 so you when you sum up you get one okay, you can see what happened okay so now it moved to the left a little bit okay you can play around with the value and this value will make sure that uh, the distribution of the layout uh, in, in in that particular layout is going to be even so if you use the same uh, distribution for other uh, layout component you're going to get the same distribution and you you you're going to get a nicely arranged layout okay so that basically how you can arrange or how you can you how can you make use of linear layout and make sure that 
each component the width set to wrap content same with this wrap content and also this wrap content for the width All right and the linear layout also you need to make sure that the hig for for that sub layout is wrap content okay other than that it's going to follow the parent size so if you set match parent uh, the layout is going to consume the whole um, the whole parent layout so it's going to be hard for to add another component if you put as uh, match parent so yes um, this layout linear layout basically is good because the alignment is in linear you're not going to get button that out of place such as moving a little bit down here because everything nicely arranged in in, in linear linear arrangement okay so uh, the only way that you can manage is through the use of sub layout okay so if you want to have some spacing here you can add what we call as the um, the line uh, that's not the spacing the um the padding okay you can add padding so let's let's say i want to add some padding here so padding means that the, the button can a little bit contain some padding so if i tap here i'm sorry not the whole layout i want to have for this button only so if i put two it's quite small padding Um, let's say for margin 2 ok you can see now the button a little bit small because of the of the margin okay, if I put uh, bigger than that uh, let's say 5 ok so it margin itself okay, if you want to have some spacing uh, between component you can use that as you can further control the placement so uh, you, you you need to do a lot of adjustment to your component if you want to have it uh, the way that you want but for me linearly linearly out is basically the the most stable way of designing interface but that just me okay if you are comfortable with constraint layout go ahead you can use constraint layout but for me linear layout is the way uh, because I can control the behavior of the layout in linear fashion Alright, so I think that is all So thank you